I'm sitting in the jungle facing towards the Japanese. We're awaiting our next order to move on. We've just been given five minutes respite from the heavy fighting. The lads are exhausted. We have been battling the Japs constantly for days. The weather here is atrocious. I will never ever moan again about how wet it is back home. The rain here is constant. It can rain for weeks on end, non-stop. We eat, sleep and fight in mud. Mud is everywhere. It sticks everywhere. And with a lot of weight we carry, it's very difficult to move in. You are permanently wet, either from the heavy rain or the humidity. The heat just zaps all your energy. There are snakes and other dangerous creatures that we have to overcome in the jungle. Disease is a constant threat between malaria, scrub typhus and other life-threatening infections. We have noted that for everyone killed in action, four times as many of us have succumbed to illness. I've had malaria twice since we disembarked. A couple of days ago, the battalion were asked to push through the Arakan. There are only two roads through the Arakan. One has been designed as a railway and runs through a series of tunnels from Mongdo to Pethungang on the Meiyu River. The Japs are in control of this road and are passing supplies from the side of the Meiyu Hills to the other. Our battalion arrived in the area on the 20th of March 1944. Our first objective was to capture the two tunnels used by the Japs as storage and gun emplacements. For three days our artillery pounded the enemy with shelling and there was low level bombing by the RAF. The order came then to advance. We began a determined attack which involved the taking of four enemy positions which were camouflaged in thick bamboo and which they lay one after another on a spur which was commanding the approach to the feature over the first tunnel. The battle developed into fierce hand-to-hand -hand fighting. We pressed on doggedly. Our unit have only just been told that Sergeant Woodhouse is going to be given the DCM, Distinguished Conduct Medal, for capturing an enemy post single-handed where its fire decimated his section. In two and a half hours of bitter fighting, we drove the Japs back and established ourselves over the first tunnel. We could hear the enemy, however, still in the tunnel underneath us. Lads from D Company attacked the spur on the other side of the tunnel in support of our advance. But, alas, they failed to take the objective and have suffered a number of casualties in the process. I understand the lads are calling the spur of the tunnels Tradiga Hill as the majority of the lads killed have come from Tradiga. Yesterday, due to the heavy fighting, a Sherman tank was called up to help us via the use of my wireless. It was brought up to fire into the mouth of the tunnel. From where I was crouched down, the effect was spectacular. I could see without a shock, bodies of the enemy and debris blown out of the other end of the tunnel. The ammunition stored inside exploded. I can feel the shock and the vibration. It has been burning now for hours. Today, we have gone into the tunnel and occupied it. Word down the line, it is going to be aptly named 24th Tunnel. It appears the Japs have now abandoned Tradiga Hill without any further fighting taking place. We have, in the process of the action, lost 11 lads killed. Word just received. Major Crew Reed, commanding B Company, will be awarded the MC, or Military Cross, with an Indian water carrier attached to our unit and who helped evacuate the wounded is to receive the MM, or Military Medal. So, here I am now, awaiting further orders to move on. And it's just started raining.